happy. So look, but, finish your point. No, I'm just and then saying. I'm lighten the mood. No, but uh, I'm just saying when you live, when We've you been work. Real serious. We no, real yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. No, I, I, think yo, they, Huli, I think they need this. This sometimes. is my favorite interview today. That, <laughs> Yo, this, this is my favorite. We can do a part two. Yo, I gotta bro. come back. I gotta come nah, back. We can do I want you to come. We'll do a mini series. I want you, yeah, I want we'll do a, <laughs> we'll do a, 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 a pilot. <laughs> but but on some real shit, uh, I would love for you to come once a month, once every two months. Nigga, you know and and we're gonna nice. do it. That's gonna be a yeah, movie like an episode. Ongoing, like an ongoing Cause guess. I wanna go over the new art. I wanna yeah, give you a, like I'm you with, gave a, I went on your Instagram and you gave a beautiful recap. Yeah. And you need to do recaps of the it. art, but you gave a beautiful recap of um, the uh, the the joint that went down in uh, Central Park, the Central Park Five. Oh yeah, your, your, yeah. what you wrote, yeah, how you, you broke it down. That's crazy, man. We do doing hell, work. What the hell did you know about the? the I didn't. No, so no, I he, he no, 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 I know that. Yeah. No, but I auditioned so that's for what I'm it. trying to say, oh, for real, I auditioned, I auditioned for, for oh. it, and I didn't get it. And the dude who ended up getting which one? Which that one? Was, Corey's role? No, not Corey. Hell no, I wish it was Corey. When uh, I, I watched Corey episode. So in preparing almost, to audition for it, you learned about the whole shit. I learned about it. I didn't know anything about Central Park Five, and. I, yo, y'all look nice in this motherfucker. Y'all doing y'all fucking job. Yo, bro, we, we I, appreciate Because I want to say congratulations to Yusuf Salam, who just got fucking, he just. Thank you, Daddy. Where you been at, Daddy? Nah, he's here. Daddy yeah. here. <laughs> no, but Yusuf Salam, and I want to make sure I say this correctly because I'm not a person who like to say things incorrectly. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah, he yeah. just got. Um, so, I want to so say it correctly. Let's the, say. The, uh, he just got a state senate no, or something like no, that. Let's, that's uh, why he don't want to hear I something like that. Say something like that. He wants to say what it I is. I want to say it correctly because when I saw this, and in the meantime, while well, they're looking for that, no, 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 no. We'll hold talk on, about the search. I, I wanna, oh, okay. There I want to give it to a problem. Oh, okay, but no, okay. pops, you give the recap on it. Hold I'm just on. saying. <laughs> search premium flowers. Come so, on, premium flowers. We'll have you me, feeling the best that you can feel. This one right here. Oh, this one right here. So remember. No, you're good. You're good. Remember, search. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and okay. I'm, I'm going to give this to my brother oh, before we right wrap there. up. This yeah. is actually a gift package okay. from Sertz Premium Flowers. I got to say this. Sertz Premium Flowers. So Yusuf Salam, mm -hmm. he ran for office. Yep. New York City. He's a writer, an activist, okay. and a part of They don't call it the Central Park Five no more. It's the Exonerated Five. Exonerated Five. five. Clap for that. Right. You know what I'm Kyle, saying? Because they're not the Central Park Five. They are absolutely not they're the, the ones Central that Park Five. Yeah. And he and he got he he's now part of of our New York City Council. God and bless there's him. a lot of people who don't know when he when that whole ordeal occurred, mm -hmm. Donald Trump put out a page in the I believe it was the New the Daily News or the New York Post, one of the two, mm -hmm. talking about them as savages animals. and animals. Yeah. Right? Talking about their wilding and all this and now to see that Yusuf Salam is now part of our New York City Council is out of this world. It's For beautiful. me, that shit almost brought a tear to my eye, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, bro, I, it's I, not. Man, yeah. when I watched the whole series, man, I was. I I've was only watched furious. it once. I, was, I can't watch it again. Man, That's the first. I was furious, bro. Lito, let me just. I was so mad. It's bro. the first thing I've ever watched in my life where I had to pause it because I had to cry. Mm. I've, I've been in shit. I've. I've watched so maybe millions it of Maybe movies. it wasn't meant for you to have be. You it watched wasn't. It? Have you watched not. it? No. I'm going to go watch it. You know what's so crazy? Uh, that shit. Maybe if a... you were in it, it would have took a piece of you I that mean, you didn't want to I, I, that I you, lived you it didn't as far get. as like. Yeah, you know. Like, you, was, you saw that shit. You know, I lived it. But you should watch it. You should watch it. Because those young men. out of this world. Those young men portrayed the roles. Beautifully, yeah. absolutely. Like beautifully, like they 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 gave them everything. This was like at a time more. where we was all the same age. Like you understand yeah. what I'm saying? It was like. Hey, my last question before I get into these games because I want to lighten the mood and have some fun. Why didn't the corner renew for another season? Why did y'all only do one season? No, the so corner? the corner was supposed to be just a mini series. It was based on a book that they wrote. Oh, so, so David, it wasn't supposed to. So go let me explain. On. So David Simon, the creator of The Wire, mm -hmm. he wrote before he was a. Um, New York, he was, excuse me, a Baltimore journalist. He wrote, he f basically followed three to four different people in their lives and wrote a book about them okay. called okay. The Corner. And there was an addict, a drug dealer, F X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. So he wrote this book about them and then The Corner got created and it was only going to be, a it was only 
a mini series. Mm -hmm. But the minis, I guess, from the creation of the corner, spurned the wire because it it I guess it opened them up. But it's all the the reason the wire is so good is because David Simon was actually a journalist. Mm -hmm. Ed Burns, who was a producer slash writer on it, was an actual cop slash teacher. Yeah, so they were, they were speaking from these experience. Were, yeah, these is their lives. This wasn't, yeah. oh, I'm a writer. I'm going to write about X, Y, Z. Nah, yeah. this was their this lives. This wasn't no squares trying to tell a no, story. No, no, this no. was the story David being told. Simon was really a journalist and really in Baltimore and in what the was Ed Burns? of the 90s. Ed Burns was a cop was slash a cop. Turned into teacher. He Ed Burns. I thought arrested. Ed Burns is not. Isn't he from, from nah, like from like Ed the Simpsons? Burns. Not that. Ed <laughs> no, there's an actor also called Ed, Ed Burns. Burns. But Ed Burns arrested Melvin Williams. If people oh, don't okay, know okay, Mel okay, Melvin yeah, don't Williams know. from back in the day, Ooh, they, slide this way a they bit. talked about him. Yeah. They talked about him on American yeah, Gangster go. on BET, and he's his character is loosely based on Avon Barksdale from The Wire. Ed Burns arrested him and then went and picked him up. No, I remember Ed Burns. Out. Ed Burns was um New York City cop, wasn't he? No, a Baltimore. Cop. Oh, he's a Baltimore yeah. cop. Okay. All right. I just got to say this real quick. Go. Yusuf Salam, he won New York City Council seat. He's now, he will represent a district in Central Harlem. So. Where he got arrested. Where it was same area where he got arrested. I just got to say that. Crazy. So I want to make sure so we make know sure that. sure that it doesn't happen again. We got to make sure. Man, that's beautiful. I man. just had to say that real so quick. So now we're going to get into a couple of fun segments, and then I got a couple more questions, and we're going to wrap it up. Um, Culture Vulture of the Week. <laughs> we got into an argument I'm, last week. So I'm, I'm going to give this Culture Vulture of the Week to Cup of Noodles. Cup Noodles. <laughs> uh, they announced that you can finally be able to put the cup of noodles in the microwave. That shit confused me. I've been I'll, doing that. I've been uh, doing that. I always uh, been doing that. In, in, in the words of my favorite <laughs> movie, a message. <laughs> oh, we've been putting cups of noodles in the microwave for two minutes since cup of noodles have Hell existed. Yeah. So I understand that y'all put this comment out there for us to talk about it and rally behind it, so it can be some good marketing. Because you niggas no, is probably you know, not selling noodles like that. No, no, like no. But that. you know what? What they probably is probably because. You know, styrofoam, you're not supposed yeah, to put it in. Yeah, styrofoam, not fucked up. We not, wasn't not, supposed hold on, to do yeah, it. Hold on, nigga, Not because it melts or anything. It lets off. Yeah, it lets off some type of some bullshit. Some type of bullshit. Even drinking that, it. That like, it you don't you even got to put it in the microwave. Son, you been, been, can just drink from it. We've been, been wilding. We've been putting uh, styrofoam been in. Wilding. Cup yeah. of noodles, you have 72 hours to announce if you've changed the styrofoam to a new material. Yes. And we also want to let you know that we have been microwaving cup of noodles since cup of noodles started i don't so know if, if you've put in this uh so statement if people, out if people for get the sick. caucasians hold on pops let me get this okay. off and then i'll let you rock out okay I'm not sure if this is for the caucasians or the asians <laughs> but uh i speak for my brothers and why is it latinos asian we've been but doing anyway go ahead. uh but yeah what, what did you know i was gonna say I'm, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh but yeah you know Five percent. We gotta learn all. You that. know what I'm saying. But, uh, right, he getting confused. So look, listen, so no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They've if if the case is they've never said do not microwave on there. They probably about to get sued. Or they some probably shit. Some and and it's gonna like, be one of them commercials. Yeah. They'd be Somebody like, if them. you microwaved cup of noodles between the the, the years, blah blah blah. You may be you yeah. may be entitled. Myers. You might be entitled to compensation. Because I've never I've never seen um I've never seen uh. On the packaging, they say do not microwave. That's what I'm I've saying. I've never really seen that on yeah, the packaging. I've never seen that either. Yo, California puts this material might cause cancer yeah, on all types of everything. Shit. Yeah. Now nah, they just everything. started doing that though. So um, now we're gonna get into uh, we're gonna get into this game, man. And, and okay. I'm I'm asking the question. Prizes? To uh, no prizes. Okay. Uh, but if you don't want to choose. You have to take an extra shot of this tequila. Yeah, we so, already drank. Uh, oh, I'm shit. drinking Henny. All right. yeah, now we got a little bit more for right, shots. This is, this is so this shot is culture of vulture. I'm going to give you two options. You're going to name who's the culture oh, and who's shit. the vulture out there. Yeah, they're they're right. flying around. So we got first options is culture of vulture, Joe Buttons, or Drake. <laughs> who's the culture? Who's the vulture? <laughs> Who Lito, you go first. I put them both in the same fucking category. But anyway, go ahead. You, you know it's so crazy. Who's the culture? Who's the vulture? So I I gotta say, so I don't know how it happened. I don't know where. I just became a fan of Joe Budden podcast. Oh yeah. I've been watching it weekly, and um, I I liked I, it more before when it had Rory and. So and I didn't. Why, I don't know anything yeah, about I, any I of that. I like that one. I, I know. I never watched it at all. No, I so like I know, but I've heard. New shit is cool, but no, I've you know. heard about all that. I don't know where I watched one episode, and I was like, "Oh!" 
and I'm 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 I I, f- I fuck with Joe Budden podcast, um, and they played my record. You know, yeah, I seen it. I seen people. you post it. Hell yeah, they played one of my records. Shout out um, to them. So shout out Joe. Um, shout out Ice actually. Yeah, Ice, Ice was the one. Ice played. Yeah, record. Joe 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 didn't say shit, but it was no Ice. no. Joe, Joe said he fuck said Joe Budden. Nah, 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 Joe said he fuck, <laughs> nah, nah, Joe said he fucked with it. He so I sent Ice the record where it was me and Ransom. Mm-hmm. Joe well, said, punch him. Everybody punching him now. So yeah, yeah Joe him. said, Ransom body me on it. I don't agree. But sh- my brother, Ran- for me to even be in yeah, a Yeah, but Ransom's a, for you, for a nigga to even say that Ransom body you, to be, Ransom's to, a rapper. To me to be in a conversation with Ran, because yeah. I take rapping so serious yeah, that Ransom's it took me 15 rapper, years rapper. to drop a, a project, to get Ransom on my first project, to fucking go toe to toe with him, in, in my opinion, on that record. I think that's the next level, so I don't care who they think. But I'm going to answer the question. Um, so I think Joe is a culture because what Joe has given to the culture. Remember when we talk about what we've given to the culture? I think I ain't going to lie. All that nigga's giving is pump it up. And uh, I, <laughs> shout out to the break dancers. But, uh, I can't say that. Joe ain't really but, give a lot to the culture, no, if you want to be nah, honest. Like, well, I, yo, I'm really like one song. What was this? I don't even remember. Slaughterhouse shit? No, five minutes. Give me five minutes to ten minutes to smoke a cigarette and, and some some. something. Here's something. The, I'm about to was tell, I'm about to tell y'all exactly why I say what I'm saying. And it's solely, and it's not. And come my, on, nigga, I got, I got four more. This is not my. I got you. This is he not did, my. He just try to be political. No, I'm not. I, this, yeah, is, this yeah. is not my. This is not my opinion. This is when facts. He, when he goes to answer, put the fucking censor shit. This <laughs> is no, no. <laughs> well, we just know it. Facts. Go ahead. Because Drake has said Joe Budden is the reason why he started. Why he raps the way he raps? Yeah, I seen it. I seen that clip. So okay, that's Drake you know, is that a vulture. Nigga, they, so you know that nigga Drake, Drake could have been lying too. But but we I'll have. Hey, if you don't want to answer, no, you can take I a shot. It for you. I don't give a fuck about I'll these. I'll say it for you, let's, Joe. Let's Yo, but, but, but Drake might be a producer no, in the next movie. And I don't get, cast uh, me. listen. Listen, let me be very. No, nah, but I call Drake the vulture. Today's vulture. Tomorrow's crow. I'm never gonna say. I'm. You asked a question, so I'm gonna answer. I'm never gonna not say something because I think somebody's gonna buy my talent if it doesn't speak for itself. That means it wasn't for me. I'm Facts. gonna say I would say culture is J- Joe because what Joe is giving musically to the culture, whether we all know it or not, mm-hmm. lyrically there's not many people that can fuck with Joe. But in, when it comes to rapping, I feel you. When it comes to if you're gonna say vulture, I think there's a lot of opportunities where Drake has had. See, he's taken vulture from, moments. He's, he's had take, vulture moments. He's, I don't know many moments where Joe is taken. And a vulture kind of vulture. So you go clap it up. Way. So we got it. Joe Budden, the culture. Right. Yeah. Drake is the vulture on this one. Next one. And and these two have been having some back and forth recently. Uh, we have J Cole and oh. Soldier Boy. Come on, man. Who's the culture? J Cole's my favorite rapper of all time. J Cole's yeah, the culture. Yeah, yeah. Soldier Boy's the vulture. J Cole's yeah, my yeah. favorite rapper of all time. But and, I won't say. And and, and my I'll answer, say, honestly, no, nah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest I'll with you, bro. You. I'll be honest with you, bro. They both are the culture. Uh, I'm about Soulja to say, Bo- no, no, you can't Boy, say Soulja Boy created the culture. Never did for nobody. He created this he new created wave of the dance culture. He created, um, he created a lane for himself. It's always been fun music. It's never he, been he just talks too much kill. No, no, nah, but that's the new age Soulja Boy who has yeah. to last with all these fuck yeah, niggas. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Okay. You know, you're older now. You're not okay. putting out the so same gotta, type of you records. Gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you know, every time he talks is a click for him. Yeah. And every click for him is a dollar. Yeah. So I get it. I say both of them are the culture. So that's his way of keeping um, relevant. Is the is the talk is one thousand percent. Got you. I mean, that's the only way he can hang Got with you. these young boys. Um, other than that, there's nobody rapping like J Cole right now. Nah, Cole is the goat, man. I Cole. love Cole from Friday Night Listen, Lights. Let me. He got this. me through college, and I dropped out. I didn't graduate, so let I don't know explain. how good you did for me, nigga. But in terms of me being sad and depressed and all that weirdo shit, J Cole got me out of them funks because that whole Friday Night Lights mixtape. He was speaking from the perspective of where I was at. Absolutely. In school, not wanting to be there. Got you. You know what I'm saying? He so was speaking from explain. the college kids. I'm from Brooklyn. Oh, so, so that's going to make me not like him then because, uh, what? anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's really dope. Cole, let Cole, me, let Cole me say, so Biggie. But then, but then he listened to fucking Kanye and became a, you know, college dropout. But anyway, go ahead. No, that's Cole was you, a dropout too. I don't oh, think Cole. I don't that's think why he's saying he's going to make him not like him. He was at St. John's. No, no, no. And I like Cole, man. No, Cole dropped out. He was just speaking from the perspective yeah. of a broke nigga in yeah. college. But you know what? This nigga right here doing way better. Yeah, that college better. shit. Yo, no lie. 
You know, I was out of school. He could he could have made it pro though, but but you know what? That's one one in what eighty seven eighty seven thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus your head like get that. all fucked up. Yeah. But I was in school. I was at UMass, and one night there was a blackout. And uh, let me tell you, this is some real shit. One night there was a blackout, and um, we were playing manhunt, and we were in a girls' dorm. And when I was in the basement, like four or five of my homies was ramsacking, you know, some girl's room. And they all grabbing laptops and doing all crazy shit. Oh, wow. And it so, happened to be. So, so when the when the girls, when the white girls, it was white girls, when the white girls come up the hall. Was it the coach's you know, daughter? No, no, I don't know who it was. There was no coach's daughter. But oh. when the gir- white girls came down the hall, they seen me. I had long hair. I was tatted up, light-skinned nigga. They like, Lito? And everybody runs out the room. Mind you, I just came downstairs and, like, stumbled upon my niggas going through a room. And I'm like, yo, what y'all doing? Y'all niggas is bugging. Look. Nah, this is this is on my son. He didn't take no acting class anyway. Nah, this is on my son. <laughs> but now you know he's talking this shit. No, no, no. Parent, I came where his parent. We had to go nah, through the shit. Nigga, That's I never lied to these niggas. Go ahead, go ahead. Never lied to them. But with that being said, I just want to get to the point. Um, I stumbled across them niggas. My homie threw me the laptop. I'm like, oh fuck. So we all start running. They they start chasing us. I get caught. Right. Long story short, you know them revolving doors, nigga. That shit came up, hit me, boom, fell, got the laptop. The, uh, the president of the school sat me down and he said, listen, we know this wasn't you, right? We know we know you weren't, we know you were just probably involved, but like, give us the four names. You gonna stay, but just give us the four names. <laughs> or, ain't no snitch. I rock with you, and you can just leave on your own accord so that it's not on your transcript that you got kicked out of UMass. Mm. So I left. All four of my dogs uh, graduated, some of them are teachers. Wow. One of them is a nurse, another one's a teacher, another one's a cop. That's crazy. And I'm I'm okay. And I'm good. And I've that's, I've made nah, a career crazy. in music, but all of them oh, are servicing the people. You been in touch with all four of my niggas, we still talk. We nah. still you know them niggas they they were they, they See, since he, then he was gonna pick up he was gonna pick so up what? You gonna pick up fuck fuck like, like yeah, physical nah, I ain't gonna lie though. They sports owe me some medicine, shit, right? You gonna pick up we gonna pick up sports medicine. I don't know what I was gonna do, nigga. I was therapist, they gotta send some. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They teachers, they doctors and lawyers and all types of shit. Yeah, they owe me a check because I ain't gonna lie, I threw my whole life away. Well, I threw my college life away. A way for that. Because when I came home, they tried to do Juco, and it was a whole bunch of bullshit. Yeah. But anyway, um, next one. And this is a movie. <laughs> Culture of Vulture. They cloned Tyrone or <laughs> A Thousand and One. Oh, that's Ooh. good. But that's that not a movie, though. No, that's that's no, a series, no, though. No, a Thousand no. and One is... Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 Tyrone no, is a no, series, no, though. Right? No, 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 I'm asking. Hold on, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's a Jamie Foxx film. That released on Netflix. Wait, didn't really get the promotion. What, the clone that it Tyrone? Yeah, they cloned Tyrone. Isn't that the one with the giant? Kid? No, no nah. pops, no pops. Let pops. me explain something to you why you nice at this shit. Because you know I seen both of them. Come on, man. Because no, but they I both see... movies no, of the culture. But uh, but you you've had to do research it, <laughs> to ask it, these questions because you know I've seen both. I don't and know. You know... What's the... What the clone time on? The clone about? time on the show. No, no, we need boy. the answer. You got to go watch that shit on your own. We're going to talk <laughs> nah, about it next episode. Shout out my brother, John uh, no, Boy. Look, look at me. When you watch that shit, yeah. Fox? Yeah, you got to watch it. It's right in That's our face. They, they made that movie and said, here, niggas. No, but I thought it was the shit with the, no, with the giant kid. No, 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 man. He's in there, too. No. He's in there, too, with the giant no, with nah, the giant nah, nah, nah. They clone Tyrone is a series man. on Netflix. No, it's not a series. It's a movie Oh, sorry. Excuse me. A movie. And it's about putting everything in our face. Shout out my brother, John Boy. He's the lead of that joint. Yeah, John Boyer got killed um, there. Jamie Foxx. Jamie. But that's not the Jada kid Paris. that's extra big. No, no, nah, God, nah, 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 nah. Whatever, man. Listen, man. Watch it when you get home. No. Right. Um, so this is Culture Vulture. Who's segment. the culture? Who's so the first off, let me just say, shout out to my sister, Tiana Taylor. I think what she's done. I, there's Oscar talk. You know what I'm saying? There's award talk. She already got nominated for something. I forget what it was. Yeah. But um, so a thousand and one. She's been working her ass off. That's Absolutely. The, that's the shit I'm talking no, about. Nigga. No, no, anyway, quiet, Pops, quiet. When I watched 1001 with, with Tiana, I thought it was phenomenal. I, and it's, so for, to know she's not an actress. Because mm-hmm. she's not? She, cause, like, I think she. we have to say she, she is eyes. now. She no, eyes. now she is. We have to say she is now yeah. because... Her performance. She's on always that. been a star. She, she did that oh, shit the after party star. or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, but that's yeah, not like, the same as you leading nah, a two-hour film. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. nigga? You got to watch a thousand and one. Wow. I think it was absolutely phenomenal. So for me, um, but she was really somewhat playing herself also because she's from that hood. She's from Harlem, but, she, but but without the kid. Yeah, without yeah. the kid. Yeah, but I think 
I think what you said earlier is what trumps everything because she had to lead a film for two hours what straight. Does, what's up? People don't understand. Like, say for The Wire, if you watch it, I'm in six scenes an episode, seven scenes, eight scenes. In a, I'm in 15, 20 minutes out of 45 minute 45 episode. minute episodes mm. to be the actor in every single every scene shot, oh my God. for two hours <laughs> straight. Yeah, that's a lot. And she did that. So I'm just talking about the movies, though. I just wanted to make sure I shouted her out. Yeah. But I'm talking about the movies itself. I didn't really care for they clone Tyrone. I think it was like, OK, we 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 get it. We understand that we we are our own worst enemies. We we we've, we've heard this story countless and countless of times. Yeah. I don't know if it was as creative as I. It just wasn't for me. I know it was a good movie. Shout out my brother John. I think he did a great job. Jamie always does great. Shout out Tiana Paris. So 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 so. I think for me watching really a thousand and one the Tyrone joint, you didn't really rock really, with that one. I didn't Yo, really no like lie. it. Look, bro, I watched that shit off the shrooms. It was and crazy. it was so eye opening. No, my sh- even there I'm was not- a scene where he was like a pimp, a hoe, and a thug walking oh, to a bar. Yeah. I started watching. Yeah, it. my nigga, we've been saying that joke our whole life, but that movie until that moment, yeah, yeah. I didn't understand how deep yeah. that joke was. No, I didn't. Because it. they forced our neighborhoods to only have thugs, pimps, and hoes. Absolutely. Primarily, Here, that's what was running the streets here's and running the, thing, though, the, the, me, the culture. I Yo, th- bro, that movie's ill, son. No, Lito. Nah, I, 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 I started saying, the I started fried chicken. Yo, bro, that no, movies here's the thing Ill. for me. He was dressed like he had the afro shit and all of that. Yeah, here's but the thing it was no though. giant, though, nigga. I don't know. No, what no that's giant. another show, though, that he was in it, too. Nah, no, no, he was off the shrooms, too, and Jamie looked like a giant. I get it. No, not Jamie, his son. Here's what I'm saying. I just think, I think for me, because I'm in this, I'm in this industry and I watch with a very keen eye. I watch projects with a very keen eye. I just think it was cheesy. In my opinion. I like cheesy though. No, so there are there's a there's a reason why the, I'm I am But you know what? Names, but you know but. what? There was Oscar um was it was it nominated for Oscar? They they my name is Dolomite. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh that was, right. that was kind of cheesy as shit. No, cheesy as fuck. And this is why I'm so that's not my personal yeah, your, your, your enjoyment style, your style of, of watching what yeah. I would watch. Mm-hmm. I think it was like, okay, we put the stuff in the chicken and then they tell you who the villain is. I like dude where's my car. That was See, one I love my, it. That if was you, one of my the, favorite movies so growing he, up. So here's the thing. Yeah. I like shit like that. Dude, are, this is why Sweet. There, this is Dude. <laughs> this is why there are people who watch The Wire no, and they don't understand it and then they watch Power or and they be like this is the greatest thing I ever had. And we didn't mention all interview but my brother ran and was one of the lead roles on The Wire season 4. Yeah. He killed that. I Thank still you. watch it. Yeah, to this season day. four is based all every, on every every person in this room is a fan of season four. Thank you. It's one of the Thank best you. seasons out there. Thank just you. Just from the perspective of having a young niggas narrate what's going on in the hood, yeah. and then still having the adults be a part of that as well. Now, how, yeah. how would you Flawless. feel about somebody that hasn't watched The Wire? So so yeah. Do you come across niggas that's never watched The Wire? <laughs> Absolutely. God. Absolutely. Damn. And I don't judge. Listen, you gotta understand when The Wire was on TV, it wasn't rated and viewed astronomically, right? Mm-hmm. It was a show that it was like it's it's a part of the culture. It's a yeah. part of one person sees it, they tell the other person, they tell the other person, and now everybody's watching it. It's a it's a what do you call it? Like um I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? But uh, a cult classic. That's what I, I was just going to yeah. say. It's a cult classic. It's a cult classic. Man, that, shit is a, that shit is a, a that cult shit, following. That sh- if you ever, if if 100 years from now, yeah. the people want to see what Baltimore, what that city looked like. What the world looks what like. The, what the world looked like during that mm-hmm. time. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. The perfect by show the way, to watch. Uh, rest in peace. No, hold on. Uh, that was next. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So, Word. so you work with both of these dudes. I'm gonna say rest in mm. peace to both. Edris. Lance Riddick, yeah. as well as Michael K. Williams. Yeah. You work with both yeah. of them. They were both Absolutely. on that season. Um, yeah. I believe they were both on that season. Yeah, they were on every season. And um, you work with both of them. Rest in peace to them brothers. Yeah. You worked with Edris though. It just yeah no I, my character wasn't on the show when but Idris he wasn't he wasn't involved with it at all no no but I got to spend time with Idris at different. I want to ask you this, okay. Michael and Lance, um, yeah. man, what was one thing that they brought to the set or brought to you or yeah. to, to to your experience and 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 you keep it with you to this day? So so I so I didn't get to spend a lot of time with Lance. Okay, but I will say, 
just his energy as far as his his just poise mm-hmm. his poise as an actor his poise as a human being i think everybody that you hear speak about lance always speaks about how much of a an amazing talent and person he was so i didn't get to speak with lance as often as i would like but i think what he brought to the show is undeniable undeniable but <laughs> yeah and he played the commissioner, right? The commi- like yeah, yeah, yeah. Police commissioner. Well, he got the job. I remember when he got the job. Yeah, the yeah, job. Yeah. I was like, oh, exactly. shit. Um, yeah. But with Mike, I think with Mike, that hit me extremely hard because my very first time stepping foot on the set of The Wyatt. Bless. Thank you. Bless my brother. My very Bless. first time. Thank you. My very first time set, stepping foot on the set of The Wyatt, he was one of the first people that I, I chopped it up with. Yeah. And we had a connection because he's from Vanderveer Projects. He's I'm from, from, yeah, I'm from Glenwood Projects, which is five minutes away from each other. Mm-hmm. And it was just an automatic bond. Bro, there. the first time I ever touched the stage and rapped, like rap for people, my pops had him there at the little event that we put together. And I got on stage, and when I got off, that nigga grabbed me and was just like, yeah. yo, you a star, bro. And it connected yeah. me with his son. It's yeah. like, yo, look, y'all niggas get together and just figure it out. Yeah, and but that's what Mike good was. Dude, good that's dude. what Mike I remember was. that day. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of them days yeah. in my life. And just because I, you know, I'm a huge fan. But other than that, though, it was great to get a confirmation from somebody who was great. Yeah, that absolutely. that that my art was was dope. And that's what you Mike get what I'm would saying. Do. Mike would the reason Felicia Pierce and Snoop, the reason Snoop was on and why it was because of Mike. Mike was those type of people who brought everybody along the journey with him. Yeah. Mike is, he's such an amazing astronomical human being. And sometimes, you know, what's so sad is that he, I don't know if he absolute if he absolutely saw that in himself. No, nah, I don't think he did. I don't think nobody really I think I, yeah. I think he was fighting so many demons of his own, so yeah. many battles of his own that... Yeah. You know, he didn't even understand what he was giving back to the world. Absolutely. Opposed to what and it was taken from. You when know you what talk saying? about an amazing career ch- shifting actor, yeah. but an even better person. Coming from where he came from you was even made it on, even man. better, bro. Mike, I know where he comes from. Mike 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 is a good good people yeah. and and that, that still hurts me to this day cuz it's like yeah. you, know, you see like I see I know a lot of bozos out here who is who don't De- deserve half of what they got and to know that he no longer on the planet and as good as a person he was is just like it's heartbreaking yeah but, yeah, yeah. And, and 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 i'm not gonna say too much on that but y'all should have took care of bro 10 times better like y'all should have took care of him better yeah. and f- f- motherfuckers who know what i'm talking about I, you know what i'm talking absolutely. about y'all should have took care of him 10 times better that's not that's not somebody you play with like you know, that's somebody that you make sure everything is. Everything. Well, there's a lot of people that 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 you know. No, nah, I get it. I'm just you know, I'm just X, I'm just saying X, that. For, there's a lot for, of people for, that should. Yeah, I'm been, just saying that for the people I'm who you, understand. I'm with you. You're supposed to the, take supposed to take care of those and niggas. And the people that know no. Yeah, you're supposed to take yeah, care of him. Yeah. Um, I got two more questions. Then we're gonna wrap it up, bro, bro. Uh, because we we've been here for a while. We had technical difficulties, but. Yeah. God works in the And we're feeling, right, we feeling right with the search right now. So you yeah, know what I'm saying. Shout out to Search Premium yeah, Flowers. Oh my brother. Nah, now that you said it. This is for you. Okay. Uh, I know you're not you you're not a big uh, chiefa. However, you you do have a beautiful lady at home that might indulge. Yeah, this yeah. is for you. This is a uh, care package for you from the Certs family, just to show their appreciation for love. your art and your love. love. And I just want you to take that home, check that out. Can Use I open that. it now? No, nah, open it now because I want the it, I want the it. whole you know the 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 reaction on video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what we it's talk a about. It's a beautiful care package. Yeah, over there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's got a couple they, flavors in they there. Got the flavors. In you there. know, everything is sealed. Good socks. Good socks. Shout with out a good tea. And, and I do want to say tea. this right when I was leaving the and spot. And it's my size. So let me say this right. I was, <laughs> look at me, look at me. So I was in the spot, right? I was in the spot, and it was between. Yeah. Oh, but but, they, but on, you forgot to mention these right here. Oh, we got oh, some yeah. Joe Fatal buttons. buttons. The Joe Fatal buttons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Joe Fatal I told right him there. when I get home, you know I'm gonna put mine Most. on my toilet paper. <laughs> so every time I wipe my ass, I look at him. You know, just in case we got Joe Fatal uh, Jiffy yes. Jiffy packages to yes. send stuff out. And Yo, but, before but, we get out of here, if you don't mind, roll me one up. Nah, done deal. I'm gonna take care. I know, I know. I'm gonna take care of you for that drive home. My brother. Um. But I do want to say, man, they appreciate your art. They appreciate everything Shout out you do search, for us. Man. Thank and, you, and how I brought that right size is because I was in the spot. And I'm not going to say the sizes. Because niggas, don't, they don't even know, need to know them details. Like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. You're going back to that area. I looked yeah, at my dog, yeah, right? Yeah, Look, yeah, I looked yeah. at my dog and I said, yo, 
I said, look, this is my dog, right? We the same age. I said, but I don't want him to feel the way. I had the smaller size and I had that size. Yeah. But I said, me at this age, I like to be comfortable. Yeah. They said, nah, bro, I'd rather, see me, I'd rather yeah. always be comfortable than a nigga give me some tight shit. Yeah. It's a done deal. Shout out Serge. Shout they out Serge, man. Yeah. Nah, they took care of you. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. knew the size. Absolutely. And then um, I had I had two more questions. Yeah, my favorite it. movie, one of my favorite movies that you've done, bro, and I'm so glad that Netflix brought it back. Yeah. Um, I think at that, I'm not sure if it's still there. It's still but there. But Brotherly Love. Yeah. My wife, yo, bro. So my wife has like five movies that she rotates her whole life. <laughs> yeah. It's Titanic. Okay. It's Brotherly Love. That means it's a lot. White Chicks. That means a you lot. in the cut. That you and Brotherly, yo, bro. Brotherly nah, Love. Have you ever watched lot. Brotherly Love? Nope. You gotta watch it. You gotta bro. watch it. I'm gonna go home and watch no, no, it. No, no, no. Look at me, bro. I'm gonna go home and watch it. Yeah. Eat a shroom or two. And I'm gonna watch it. Watch Brotherly Love. It's great. It's great. Who's it? Who's it? You who? Me, Kiki Palmer, Kiki, okay. um, my brother Corey Hardrick. Yeah, so okay. it's, it's, it's a good, go watch it. it's a good ghetto cast. It's a, it's a perfect <laughs> ghetto cast. Go watch it. No, but it's like it. it's like that cultural ghetto yeah. cast. Romeo's in it. Romeo. Yeah, but Romeo yeah. had a little role. Okay, like, okay, yeah, okay, okay, he ain't. Okay, okay, he ain't okay, okay. Like, it's, nah, it's a good one. It's, yeah, okay. man, it's a cult cool. classic. You know, and my boy get bodied in the film, by yeah, the way. But here's the thing. Here's the <laughs> thing. Body his ass. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> He's laughing. No, he deserves it. Like, like, he's an asshole. Listen, I shot, I shot, he's an asshole. I shot Macy Gray in the movie. Yeah, right? shot Macy Gray. I shot Macy Gray. I didn't think of that show. I would have shot Macy Gray too. Shout out Macy. I'd have been like, give me the role that shoots Macy Gray. No, here's the thing. Hate her fucking voice. Here's the thing. I love the fact. That I feel like I just. I hate her in training day. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Hey. She was, yeah, she bought I loved her in training day. day. Hold on. I hated her in yeah, training that's day. That's what the fuck is that's she That's what made me want to shoot her. Like, I love that. I love that right, training go ahead, day. Go ahead. But I think, I, I just, I'm just extremely, thank you for bringing it up. Five I'm extremely, more, we out of here. I'm extremely grateful that I was able to be in so many cult classics, Nigga. so many cultural impacted Bro. classics. It mean the world to me. So thank you for bringing that Bro, up. Bro, Brother the Love is on Netflix right now. Make sure you People don't understand that. In life, you know, what you have in your bank account and in your backyard and your garage, all that shit is great. Yeah. But your true tell of being a human being is how many human beings you impact. Absolutely. How many people you influence, Absolutely. how many people you help through get a time. And this dude has been through pieces of art that have really helped shifted people's lives. Absolutely. Thank not you. a bomb, not a movie that spent $50 million to shoot and it was a bomb in theaters. Not none of that bullshit. Not nothing that they pumped so much money into marketing dollars that every website and every... Yeah. Not none of that, bro. What y'all yeah. don't understand is when you get in the car and you hear music on the radio, that shit is being paid for. <laughs> Unless it's not being Facts. paid for. You understand me? And the so, likelihood that it's not being paid it's for. It's so is much deeper than you unlikely. understand, man. But with that being There's said, There's a name bro, for that, Payola. <laughs> Payola, 1,000%. And, and, and shout outs to my brother, um, my OG, Big Jerry, Skinny Jerry. He uh, he actually went to the feds off of Payola. Uh, but shout outs to my brother for getting that money and uh, and still in the music game till this day you doing know, what he needs to do. Uh, but um, Brotherly Love, one of my favorites. And then I got a last question that we're going to wrap up on. Um, shout outs to the new movie. Uh, December third, the pale white horse. Yeah. My brother has his new film coming out. So the um, premiere. So, so the premiere. Talk on that before the, I get into the question. No, no, the premiere is December third, but we don't have an official release date yet. But it will be in December. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm, it's a soft premiere. Soft. Yeah. So we're doing a premiere. Party. Premiere is December third. The premiere event. party. Okay. Party. Hey, event. Hey, I'm y'all gotta come. I'm killing this yeah. media shit. No, you I'm really killing this media shit. shit. You really, but, uh, you're extremely <laughs> good. I, I, I got a question for you, real quick, before yeah. his question. Kill it. Out of all, or should I ask it afterwards? But anyway, no, go now on. let him finish it off with. Out of all interviews, all podcasts, all. Media, I already know this was his favorite. What what what, no. what what's been your favorite? Be in my what top, has been your favorite? It's got to be in my top. What three. has been your favorite though? So, so I would only say keep it fucking. My favorite of all time has to be the Breakfast Club. Just because you did the Breakfast yeah, Club. Yeah, yeah, it was just an, okay. a moment. Okay. You know I'm going to watch now. It's yeah, a moment. When we were promoting Brotherly Love. Okay, so okay. That moment, and it wasn't about I don't even remember what was. No, asked it was just it was, it was just that it was the Breakfast Club that you got acknowledged nah, to get on that platform. Nah, but anytime I get to get with people that I that I so I've done a lot of I've done zillions of interviews. Interviews, but it's not often that I get to do with people that I fuck with, that I actually care about asking me certain shit. Coolie, we've only done three, right, bro? This is the wait. Third. This is episode three. Bro, yes. this is only our third one, bro. Oh shit. Technically, our technically, second. no. Technically, the no third. We did the first one. You did a we three. Did you did a third, but I wasn't. Yeah, I don't I count that. I don't count three. that. Okay. Wow. This, he was on his way and fucking bust the tire, so he didn't make the last one. That happens. Yeah. But yeah, he happens. made this one. Which I hit counts. every potluck, so it was almost possible. Yeah, I took the train for this one, man. 
I but but that. you're going on that end right yeah, now, you, so you, you know. Whatever, let's go. Exactly. Let's, let's get it. Let's like, get it. Hey, you know that. Well, whatever <laughs> happens during that ride, bro, don't <laughs> don't hold it against don't hold it against our relationship. Wow. Wow. Because yeah, I was thinking, I ain't gonna lie to you. When you said where you was going, I knew he was gonna ride with you. I was like, fuck. Nah, I'm not even gonna talk to him. I'm not even gonna talk to him. So look, so look, we had an amazing interview, but I got one last question because we got the news. Shit, he doesn't see me on the block. You know, yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. just drop. <laughs> play, play music really play music loud. loud. Here's my album. Listen to it. Nah, but look, this is my last question. I think we talked about a really lot of dope shit. And honestly, I wanted to talk about you being a big New York Knicks fan. Yeah, shout out um, my Knicks. We, you got yeah. season tickets, gang? No, I don't. I just got to connect that. Give Yo, me, make, my get bro. Get me in as much as this Man, season ticket holder. bro. That's yeah, it. bro. Yeah. How does it feel sitting courtside at the Knicks? It it's wonderful. Like it. It's nothing on the planet. I've never like done it yet. I've done it, it at Brooklyn. Yeah, but you will. You will. No, I will. Yeah, I got We will do it Look at me. I promise. Uh, if, uh, before we go up to the next, absolutely. next whatever's after this life, let's get it. Me and you oh, go court side that's, together. That's like what? No, we gotta that's, do it. That's like. But um, I do wanna ask. I asked two questions. I'm sorry, Thaddy. I'm sorry. Two questions. What's your is dream? That the, is that the hurry up and finish fucking up? Yeah, it is. No, Horn. No, no, no. <laughs> look, I was celebrating y'all friendship. Oh, Come on. Okay. Look, look, I want to ask this, right? Two questions. Yeah. Because I had sports questions. Because, you know, the culture of Vulture is not just about music. Yeah. It's about everything it's that impacts our lives. Absolutely. Um, what's your dream? If you could have a starting five, dream New York squad. In life? In life. What would that be? That's fucking crazy. Who's your starting know. five? Dream squad, gang. A dream? All I, I, I just know LeBron would be in it. That's all I know. Oh, no, a but you talking like that. I'm talking about, I thought you meant like out of beginning of Knicks to now. Yeah, you had to put a squad, I, that's a good one. Like what Knicks no, players would you put so together? Out of the Knicks like players? Like out of different, yeah, out of different. I like that. See, I like see, that. I just, I, I, okay, let's go. Old let's time, go I would just, I would have to say what my top five. I'm going to do both real quick. Out of all time, because I, th- I feel like your question is asking what's your top five of all time. No, nah, it's necessarily, nigga. If you had a dream to put together your squad nowadays in the NBA, Iverson, not to make it crazy, right, don't go nah, too crazy. Iverson is my point guard. Okay. okay, I'm going. I'm going Jordan as my shooting guard. I'm going LeBron as my small forward. Oh, you going I'm crazy? I'm going though. Kevin Garnett as my power forward. I'm going Shaq as my center. Okay, That's just now it. if you can get all five Knicks together all to play in the Knicks. same year, whether they from different uh, I'm uh, going Walt generations Fra- or I'm not. I'm going Walt Frazier as my point guard because okay. I think he's one of the greatest point guards of all okay. time. Okay, shooting guard, shooting guard. I gotta go. I'm a god damn. Shooting guard, I'm going Allen. You gotta Alan put Houston. Allen in there, bro. I'm going Allen. You know, Allen's my favorite basketball player would, of all time. Yeah, really? I, I yeah. can imagine because Allen. People don't before realize he hurt himself, Allen was nigga, a goal. from the top of the Allen key. Was oh my different. god, oh Allen my. was different. He was different. Steph Curry before Steph Curry. His dribble. Go ahead. What, he was my he Reggie was, Miller. I, he was I, almost listen, unstoppable. I like Charlie Ward as a point guard. Bro. I like you Charlie too. You watch these. Every game type yeah, yeah. shit. Charlie, we, Chris we can Charles. only remember what we yeah, yeah, remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay. probably watch it. That's like me now. If I talk twenty years yeah. from now yeah, about yeah, the yeah. Knicks, yeah. I'll have a different yeah. conversation. The Knicks I'm have had so Allen. many great players. Small forward. I'm going Melo, of course. You know, favorite what I'm player of all time. Favorite player of yeah, all. Know. You know, you know. Come on, Melo's my favorite player of all time. Did the research? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm going Willis Reed in my four. Ooh, he's going okay. That's I'm a good Willis one. That's an out the box four. one. I didn't expect him to say Willis. Yeah, well, he Willis said Walt Reed. Frazier, though, too. Yeah, I'm going Willis Reed is my four. Like, what I, 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 Walt Walt Frazier. Yeah, but when the hell did he watch Everybody Walt Frazier Walt play? Frazier, Everybody but when the hell Walt. did he watch a play? I, wa- I watched all the who's highlights. That, who's at the center? I it. Who's at the center? That's, is it Patty? You know what I'm mad, though? It's got to be Pat, but... I missed fucking. Nah, you come on, man. I missed too many people. Hey, did, did, Kareem, did Kareem ever come to the Knicks? No, no, no. no. He never came no, to the Knicks. No, no, no. You know what's my favorite You know Michael series Jordan right was about to come. Have you ever watched Winning, winning Time? Winning of course, Time? Oh, my of God. Man. You know Michael Jordan almost had an opportunity. You gotta watch Winning to come Time, too. Well, he was supposed to, the to be Knicks, a Nick. But they didn't want to pay him the money. Yeah, and yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. LeBron James should have came to the Knicks. Because yeah, I feel like he would have won more rings with Julius Randle than he would with. So, what you think about how bad Gundy is it? Van Gundy is Van the coach. Gundy's the man, bro. Van Shout Gundy out to Van amazing, Gundy. Man. He but brought. Gundy see, it's not just about the coaching. He brought an identity to the Knicks. Yeah. It's all about an I identity. Think, bro, you remember when he, when he got choked you out? Remember when he got choked, choked out? out pretty well. I think whatever he <laughs> did to the organization <laughs> yeah. for them and his fucking night, comb over was all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was holding his leg. Was a crazy whatever he did to motherfucking the Knicks organization that has him in Boston as a, whatever. What he is doing he doing? He's still, he doing he's still in it. No. I thought that nigga was on ESPN or no, some shit. No, they fired him. Now he in Boston doing something. No, but Look, it wasn't man, even. It's all about a check. It wasn't even that one. I think I think it was when when Larry Johnson got into the. 
fight. It was like big old fight. Or, or, yeah, or he Pat, was holding he, his leg. And he was trying to hold. He was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was, it was like the, <laughs> so look, like, like the man yeah, from football like game. Like look at the Dolphins game. Yo, me and Pops <laughs> go to a Dolphin game. Oh yeah, I think I saw you post something about no, that. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no. This, this was, was a while ago. This was this was the Giants. It was like two Italians, and the fucking binoculars fell. And I grabbed the binoculars. My pops like, I said, yo, take them shits, take them shits. Because they was like really expensive shit, yeah. binoculars. I said, take them shits. And Italians like, this fucking, this nigga took my binoculars. And I said, what? He <laughs> called my nigga. And everybody starts fucking yeah. with <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look, my pops used that as leverage. <laughs> he called For us to get away. I'm like, come on, let's go. And we, we, we ran out the spot, nigga. Oh, the hell yeah. yeah. Take the binoculars. Come on, let's go. You still got those binoculars? still have the binoculars, by the way. Yeah, that's like 15 years ago. So so my last question, right? My last question. Question. We're gonna wrap it up on this. My new man Thotty has been here fucking all day. It's hot here. as hell up in here. It's hot. Brother. My last question. It's my guy. Sack, they've recently come to terms yes. on a three year deal. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, they didn't really release what the details are. We won't know. And oh, there's like will. some strike going on with that. No, this, some right? strike it's is over. over. It's over. So oh, it just okay. finished uh, either today or yesterday. Yeah. But they yeah. just reached a new deal for three years, which okay. means in the next three years we're going to strike again. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what that means. Yeah, that's exactly what that means, yeah. nigga. We need you niggas to act for right now. Yeah, yeah. I need you niggas you for another three years. But exactly uh, but means. but. But in three years, we'll figure this shit out again. You wasn't trying to be part of none of that shit. No, nah, I actually <laughs> seen I actually seen Julito the other day yeah. stand his ground yeah. Okay. Yeah, on no a movie, a role that they were trying to negotiate. Okay. And he stood his ground and let them niggas know, you're not going to pay me peanuts. Okay. So and either you're going to meet my requirements or you're not going to meet me at all. And you know what's cool? Right. That y'all don't have scabs during that shit because who's going to come in and, 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 and all the, there's actors that go against the grain? Nobody can. Walk, they nobody can. Okay. Nobody so when it's yeah. a strike, so I don't like, give a fuck right. who you are. Nobody okay. can. So how did you feel? About them reaching the uh, conclusion, think, and yeah. what do you think about it? You think it's yeah, bullshit? No, I just you think, think it was necessary. I think there's too many people that w- was left starving, for lack of better words, because of the strike. There's a lot of people. Yeah, people lost who, their houses, their people cars. People lost houses, yeah. I I and that. I think these billionaire corporations that are money hungry and don't. What we're asking for is peanuts. Mm-hmm. It's, it's small change compared to what they're compared making. Compared to what they're making. So yeah. I'm, I hope the deal is in favor of the actor. I'm sure it will be clearly because we were striking, so it got no choice but to be because I don't think they're going to strike and then take anything, right? Mm-hmm. I, it'll never be what it's supposed to be because I don't think these studios will ever It wasn't built that way. It was it never supposed to be what it was supposed to be. So when people <laughs> say stuff like... That way. When people say stuff like the system is rigged, no, it's not. The system, the works system is exactly, the system. How it's supposed it, it, so to. It works exactly how it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. And it's it's it's... Yeah, we never sure, gonna like get a casino. A casino wasn't Come built on, on fucking bro. winners. You're not built to win. Why would a casino Why be would in it? business? Why would if, fan do? If, if they was built for you to make money. <laughs> I be feeling no, the way about fan do. I be almost this close every bro, night. Fan do, every, bro, fan uh, He's uh here. We have a. Uh, I've bet yeah. ten times. We have one. a guy that 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 likes betting on games. Every nah, I bet, bro, and I've been losing, son. I don't do that. I don't. I've never. Hey, ask him. I want to play this last game, and I'm gonna clock out. I'm gonna play this last game. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one of the bars. And y'all have oh, to guess. Yeah. So this is guess that bar, oh, and we're gonna wrap it up on this, cause I want to wrap it up on some light, some fun, yeah, yeah, okay. some that make the people smile. So this is guess that bar. I'm gonna give y'all two. We're gonna do two. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say the bar, and y'all two tell me who the fuck you think it is. Uh-huh. Pops, if you know who it is for sure, I'm not let him know. go. I'm not gonna know who it is. Before the rap contract, I was selling crack. Stayed strapped with a Mac. I was into all of that. I started rapping and got nice as hell. If it wasn't for this, I might deep. I might be doing life in jail. Who's that? I don't know. Damn. I don't even know. Who is that? That's a woman. No, yeah. it's a man. I thought it was MC Light. It's a man. I it's thought it was Light too. The way he was rapping. My fault. I'm, like, I'm rapping it. God, I'm, I'm rapping it. I'm, it how, I'm rapping it how I can rap it in the bar. Uh, I've heard that though. That's so that was uh that was uh so so do the uh, do you got like an uh for these niggas? Uh, give me anything that sounds like they lost. Come on. Uh, Boom. Okay, there we go. So that bar belonged to Rest in Peace, okay. Big L. Okay. Oh, Big L. Okay. okay. Big L. I got two more. We're going to do these last yeah, two yeah, and then I'm going to clock go, out. Go. Okay. Next one. <laughs> it's hard making a woman your wife when you've been humping married women for most of your life. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who spit that bar? I don't know. It's hard making a woman your wife when you've been humping. <laughs> Married women for most of your life. <laughs> Who is that bar? I don't know. And this is your I don't dog, know son. Jay Z. I, nah. I know my dog. You don't know? Hold on. You don't know? My dog? 
Who? Yeah, top two. Two niggas who? that you friends who? with is one of them. Who? If you could pick between two of them niggas. If I had to is? pick, I would pick Cheeks. No, that right. was Big Daddy K. Oh, that's K. Uh, that's K. Uh, Last one. Okay. I like that. There you go. You found it. That Yo, came. My, my bad. I ain't know. That. What yeah, song is from? Like, what song is from? I don't know the song exactly. Uh, Pippin' ain't easy. It might be. Can okay. we come okay. l- earlier on in life? And nah, like, nigga. This is the culture. No function. Right, this right. is you, if you yeah, if you, you, you a part of the culture, you gotta go back. My bad. I ain't no K, and I ain't gonna lie. Last one. We make it hype, and you want to step with this. Yo, hey, what's up, bro? Roll the credits, no, no, man. No, no, I'm no. out of here, bro. Look, hold on. Go ahead. We make it hype. <laughs> and you want to step? This hold on. Like that. You make it, we make it hype. <laughs> and you want to step with this? Shades plates on the fade. Slice like a ninja. Cut like a razor blade. So fast other DJs say, damn. If my rhyme was a drug, I'd sell it by the gram. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's Joe Fado, nigga. <laughs> nah, that's no. not me, nigga. That sounds like some that's Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. That, that is some Wu-Tang That shit. is Vanilla Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm at it. I, I, I swear to God, I was like, that's the Wu, nigga. The shrooms is going everywhere. We're going to get high now. Oh, you oh, don't bring that shit in. I, so look, yo, I thought this that was is, Wu. no, that's Vanilla no, Ice, the worst rapper of all time. What the hell? I swear so to look, God, I that was this Wu-Tang. is the culture, no vulture, man, and I'm your host, Boss Life Lido. This is my pops, Joe Fatal, and we have my brother, Yo, Lee, who? Shit, I'm about to say Lido, damn, who it's Lido it's McCullough in Lido. this motherfucking building, man, the star anytime, of the wire, look, anytime, the star of Miracle Boy, the star of the you know, corner, and the search, and the search, and shout out, sir. Anytime, who Lido and Lido link? Yeah, it's up. Double L's, man. So this is the culture, no vulture. I appreciate having real my quick. Brother. I gotta say, real quick. Story Ave in theaters right now. Yep. Terra Lake Drive, November sixteenth. All Black. You can watch. You can watch it on All Black the app. But it's Terra Lake on Drive. Terra Lake New Drive. Movie. It's a horror movie. It's a horror New TV movie. show. You know horror movie. Yeah. 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 So so you can watch it on Amazon. That means he Prime. dies within three episodes. <laughs> nah, hell no, hell no, I don't <laughs> die. You That's the only thing. I don't die. Nah, oh, I don't okay. die. But I, it's a TV series. It's eight episodes. You can watch it on Amazon Prime, Hulu, mm-hmm. all of that. November 16th, uh, The Pale White Horse. You can watch that on Tubi in December. Yes, okay. sir. You know what I'm saying? I got you mad You know this nigga was in the coming. music video for Runaway Love? Runaway yeah, Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This nigga did Luda so much. And Mary. But now, nah, look, and I need a drop. Can you say this is the Culture No Vulture? Say, this is Julito McCullum, mm-hmm. the Culture No Vulture podcast. Just say Let's that. Let's get it. Yo, what up? You already know who it is. Oh, it's your man. Look at your ass, man. Oh, right here? Look into this yeah, camera yeah. and say. Which yeah. one? The it's just one. him. This, this one, right? Yep. yep. All right. This one right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, there. no, I'm lying. The middle one. Oh, okay. oh, so it's all of us. It's me too. Yeah, yeah you in it? Ah, uh, all right. See y'all too. Yo, what's good? It's your man Julito McCullum, and make sure you check out the Culture No Vulture podcast with Lito and Joe Fatal. Let's get it. Yes, sir. This is another DWI production.